Hi, I'm Julie Bank, the Superintendent of Animal Welfare for the City of Oklahoma City. And welcome to the February edition of Animal Tales TV, the show about animals in Oklahoma City and the people who love them. With me right now is my co-host Scooter, and Scooter is a 10-year-old schnauzer who came to us as a stray. As you could tell, he's a little bit scraggly, so he needs a haircut. We're going to get that happen right away. But he really is a terrific boy. He represents the senior pets that we have available for adoption at the shelter. And I know a lot of people love puppies, but I'll tell you, those seniors make wonderful pets. They like to sit on your lap. They like to look at you in the eyes. They like to give you lots of attention and lots of love. Now, in this edition of the show, we are going to talk all about ways that you can get involved to help the animals in Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. We're going to talk about a new group called Patrons for the Oklahoma City Animal Shelter, where you can learn about ways that you can financially support us and get involved in a much more meaningful way. We're also going to share with you volunteer opportunities so that you can hands-on work with animals, come into the shelter, or even work in the community to really make a difference. And we're going to talk to you about cats and things that you could do to help cats that you see in the community, whether they're feral or own cats that might need support. We are an organization that relies on the help and the support of individuals like you. And this entire show is going to be about how you can make a difference and get involved. But right now, we'd like to show you some happy success stories of animals that were adopted at Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. It's harder whenever there's a bigger group. Pretty much a good day for me would be people leaving their hands off of me. I'm always called names. Um, everywhere that I go, there's always someone um, calling me names, calling me gay. I've been choked. Um, thrown up against the wall, punched. Nobody's ever tried to help me. Did you know that the arts make a significant impact on education, the economy, and our quality of life in Oklahoma? Providing more than 10,000 jobs statewide, filtering more than $314 million into our economy? Yes, the arts create all kinds of beautiful things. And making Oklahoma an even better place to live is the most beautiful thing of all. It doesn't take a big donation to make big things happen. Support Allied Arts today. A little give is all it takes. Welcome back to the show. Right now, I have two very important people who are here to tell us about a new organization that has been formed to help Oklahoma City animals continue our growth and continue to do great things for animals. With me is Sally Bentley and Alex Yaffe. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. Before we start, though, we need to know who you have here. Well, today I have King, who's a seven-month-old cat who has been surrendered by his owner and he is uh, ready to be adopted and how can he how can people find out about him well they can find him at the animal shelter he'll be available with all the other amazing kitties that we have at the shelter thanks for telling us about him Very and bring him on and again thanks for being here now we are here to talk about patrons for the oklahoma city animal shelter which is a new organization formed to work with us to make a difference in the lives of animals 
Tell us about Patrons. What is it all about and why are you involved with it? Patrons is a really, really cool, great concept that's new to the Oklahoma City area. It's a, it's a, a partnership with the Oklahoma City Animal Welfare Division where we can help support specific goals of the Oklahoma City Animal Welfare Division and cut through some of the red tape that goes along with being a governmental entity and, and help folks give donations in an easier way, in a tax deductible way, so that we can um, support these great animals, support all the great things that the Oklahoma City Animal Welfare Division does and, and really make our city a better place to live and to be um, because uh, you, know, you can tell a lot by the city on, uh, with how we treat our animals. Absolutely. So it is a group of individuals like yourself who've come forward to make that difference and work with us. Tell us about the people who are on the patrons boards like yourself. Like, what do you do in real life and what makes you want to be part of an organization that's helping animals? Well, I've done a lot of volunteering in the community and I've always loved animals. I've always had pets. And several years ago, I, I came to realize what needs we had in the community and we had we were having a lot of animals euthanized and so i really applaud what's been done by the animal welfare uh, group here and i'm hoping that this will really help others become involved and be able to support financially with their private funding to even extend to you know save more and more animals both cats and dogs and just raise awareness Alex, what about you? Um, I, I'm a, a man of many hats, none of which fit very well. Um, I'm a lawyer by day. Um, I help run pediatric clinics. My wife's a pediatrician. I, I help her do that. Um, and I've been involved in animal welfare for about 10 years. Um, I started a, a Labrador Retriever breed-specific rescue um, back in 2006. Um, and kids and jobs and other things uh, got me out of that, which it's still still running, but um, got the opportunity to get back involved in, in animal welfare and, and super excited about this, this project and, and, and helping Oklahoma City animals. So you've already talked about patrons being a group that's all about bringing awareness and financial support to Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. What can the average public who's just watching out here do to support and get involved and help? So the best thing you can do um, to, to support uh, patrons of, of the Oklahoma City Animal uh, Shelter is give money. Um, I know that that seems uh, very forward and, and frank, but um, we can't survive and we can't help animals without money. Um, and, and the way, the way to, to do that is to, to either email us at patronsokc at gmail.com or you can send your tax-deductible donation to P.O. Box 14430, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73113. Um, and that money is, is going to be used to support specific needs of the Oklahoma City Animal uh, Welfare Division. So uh, on behalf of the animals at the Animal Shelter, I can't thank you and the rest of the board and the rest of the donors to patrons enough for all the work that you've already done to make a difference. And how excited we are about what's going to happen next. I really want to thank you very much for being here today and I am excited to hear about what's going to happen with our partnership and our growth and how much money is going to come in to help us as we continue down the road. So thank you for coming here today. Thank you for all you it's do too. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much. Right now I'd like to share with you some animal welfare selfies. We like to call them wealthies. Thank you.
That dog has a thirsty look in his eye. Did you know that it's really not that hard to save water? Like here, in the sink. Don't make me run too much. Could um, somebody shut me off? <laughs> now this is my kind of party. A full house. Let's roll. Hey, we're in a drought, which means I'm kind of a big deal. So save me. Really? Save me! Let's buy this TV online. Do we need a 72 inch screen? Yeah. You better keep the receipts so that you can pay the use tax, you know? You say something? No. Honey, do we have to pay taxes on it? Yes, you will owe a use tax on that TV you're buying online. But don't take it from me. I'm just the elephant in the room. The law requires you pay a use tax on certain out-of-state or online purchases for use in Oklahoma. Visit tax.ok.gov for more information. Peanuts. There's nothing like a home improvement project. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do with all that leftover paint? Storing items like this can be hazardous. Dumping them in the trash is worse. Fortunately, you have a choice. Paints and other household chemicals are accepted at Oklahoma City's Household Hazardous Waste Collection Facility. Now, doesn't that feel better? Yeah, but I wasn't done painting my house. Get more info at OKC.gov. You know, I give and I give and it's just never enough. Seriously? When people take you for granted, what can you do? Water the grass, not the street! Using drought-tolerant plants, watering early in the morning, adding some mulch, it's not that hard. If we want to use our water wisely, we got to squeeze more out of every drop. Squeezeeverydrop.com. Oh, I gotta go. I got a date with a lake. Welcome back to the show. We've been hearing all about ways that you can get involved with animals in Oklahoma City. And right now, we're gonna to talk to you about our volunteer program at the shelter. With me is Madeline Llewellyn, one of our volunteers, and Tina Rimmer, our volunteer coordinator. Welcome to the show. Thank you, welcome. Thanks for being here. Tina, tell us about this guy. Uh, this is Brownie. She's a six-month-old Sheltie mix that was owner surrendered. She's good with other animals and kids. She takes a little bit to warm up. She's a little bit shy at first, but she's also potty trained and would be a great family pet for someone. So, so she's one of the beautiful animals we have available for the yes. shelter right now. And she's coming up to say hi. <laughs> well, thank you so much to being here for, I, I want to hear all about becoming a volunteer at the mm -hmm. shelter. What do volunteers do at the shelter? Uh, volunteers do a variety of things at the shelter. We have lots of opportunities. Um, some of our volunteers do laundry and cleaning. A lot of them walk the dogs, spend time socializing cats and dogs um, at the shelter. Uh, we also have opportunities for people uh, for administrative help, um, foster program, and things that they can do from home or at the shelter. So many different opportunities, whether it's hands-on with animals, not hands-on with animals. Right. And you come all the time to volunteer, so thank you for that. Tell us about you and why you're a volunteer at the shelter. What do you do and what do you like about it? Yeah, I'm a photographer. I come out to the shelter about once a week to take pictures of all the many dogs and cats that need homes. Um, I just noticed that when looking at the pictures online that sometimes it's really hard to see what the dogs really look like when they're behind the cages. And so I wanted to be able to come in and get good pictures of these dogs to help get them in a home. And how does it make you feel to be a volunteer? Oh, it's so much fun. I love coming. The dogs have such a healing power, how you can just sit and snuggle with them and just know that they truly love you, no matter what other humans have done to them. And it just fills your heart to know that you're helping these animals and they help you in return. And what would you say to anyone who's sitting there watching this saying, well, I, I could do that. What would you say to get them motivated to actually do it? Just go ahead and call, go up to the shelter, go ahead and just make the move to do it. It may be scary at first because it's a new situation you've never been in before, but after you've been there a few times, it's a fun atmosphere to be around. So if she's just convinced somebody to say, yes, I'm going to do it, what would be the next steps? Yes, um, they can go to okc.gov slash animal welfare and find out about our orientation classes that we have. So we have uh, two to three orientation classes a month. So we have um, different opportunities that they can come in and get involved with volunteering. So, and As our volunteer coordinator, uh -huh. how does it make you feel when people actually come in the building and, and help us do what we do? It's really exciting because um, we know about a lot of different areas where we need a lot of help. And so it's really exciting to see uh, new volunteers come in all the time. 
Um, it kind of helps motivate our older volunteers that have been there a while. It makes them feel good to see new volunteers come in uh, so they know that all of that is not on their shoulders, you know, to try to help us um, with all the work that we have to do to take care of the animals. And do you take all different types of volunteers? Yes, we have volunteers. Um, we have our Kids for OKC Animals program uh, for our younger volunteers. Uh, they do have to be uh, with a parent if they're under the age of 18 uh, and they come up to the shelter to volunteer and they have to be over the age of 13 to be able to handle the animals. Um, but we have volunteers ranging from all ages, young and old. Um, we have uh, a volunteer that comes in and does laundry that's in her late 80s, so uh, we have opportunities for everyone. Now, you don't actually have to come into the shelter to volunteer, though, no. either, right? No, we have volunteers that um, make decorations for holidays. We have volunteers that watch the Lost and Found websites and try to help uh, animals get returned to their owners. Um, so we do have opportunities for people outside of the shelter itself. Well, thanks for sharing information about mm -hmm. becoming a volunteer, and special thanks to you, Thank you for giving up your time, all the time, to come in and make a difference. Um, it's folks like you that are really helping us do what we need to do, and, thank and we thank you for all that. Right now, we're going to hear our welfare tip of the month. It's about community cats, and I'm going to turn you over to David Wagner. Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Wagner, and today I'd like to talk about community cats. That's one of the many programs we have here at Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. The community cat program is one of the main things we do here at Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. Many neighbors have not only feral cats, but just free roaming cats. And if left unspayed or unneutered, that population can quickly get out of control. So what we do is we take these cats, we spay or neuter them, vaccinate them, ear tip them so we can identify them as community cats, and we put them back into the population eventually those colonies will phase out. In addition to the community cat program that we do in conjunction with Central Oklahoma Humane Society, we also have a program called the Barn Cat Program. If you do have a barn and a rodent problem, we can release one of these feral cats in your barn and they will help with the rodent population. That's our tip for the month. I'm Dave Wagner. You know, I give and I give and it's just never enough. Seriously? When people take you for granted, what can you do? Water the grass, not the street! Using drought-tolerant plants, watering early in the morning, adding some mulch, it's not that hard. If we want to use our water wisely, we got to squeeze more out of every drop. SqueezeEveryDrop.com Oh, I gotta go. I got a date with a lake. If you want to adopt any of the animals that you saw on today's show, you can come down to the shelter. We're open seven days a week, and we're open from 12 to 545. The address is 2811 Southeast 29th Street. Before we end our show, we have one more little furry friend to introduce you to. Crystal, tell us about her. This is Callie. She's a two-year-old domestic short hair looking for a home. Now, she is not loving the dog that's next to us, but, so we're going to try to end the show pretty quickly. <laughs> um, you've been hearing all about ways to get involved and volunteer, and we want to end the show by telling you just a few more ways that you can help Oklahoma City Animal Welfare. Crystal? Adopt a pet. Join our social media pages and share the posts. Buy a gift certificate for a friend so they can adopt a pet. So to close our show, I'd like to remind you that February is the month of love. And what better way to show your love than to adopt a pet or buy somebody a gift certificate. Thank you for watching Animal Tales TV, the show about Oklahoma City's animals and the people who love them. See you next month. You're watching City Channel 20, a public service from the City of Oklahoma City.